Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about today is just, and, and we're not going to use this a lot in this class, but it's, it's, it's we're not going to really use it at all. Uh, something to be aware of, though, is that, you, you know, you can thermal effects, too. So if your total stress is, you know, here's our poor mechanical or effective stress model, right? The total, the, the tectonic stress is minus VO's coefficient times the pore pressure times the identity matrix. Then if you also had wanted to include thermal effects, you could include this term out here, right? So these are these are due to thermal elastic strains. This is um, uh, this is like a thermal elastic coefficient here, alpha t. So this is the bulk modulus of material times alpha t times any delta t. Would this would produce an additional stress, right? So this um, k the the you know let's see if I can draw it capture it here. So obviously for this equation to make sense, these all these terms must add to stress. So what you have here is like K epsilon T, where this is epsilon T. So this is this is the strain due to a change in temperature. Would would produce an additional stress. Definitely, yeah. Um, also, in, in, uh, in any kind of um, geothermal energy applications, it's very important. Yeah. yeah so, in, in petroleum engineering, we, I mean, complex models would certainly need to include this effect. Uh, we're just not going to really talk about it in the class, but I just want to make you aware of it.